Hi, my name is Joseph Zins. I'm in 10th grade. I like pretty much anything related to technology from programming to editing and graphic design to working with hardware to gaming and more. I also love playing baseball and tennis. Now let's talk about why I use hearing equipment. To start off, I wear hearing aids and I have severe to profound hearing loss across pretty much all frequencies, especially in the left ear. Now I've been wearing hearing aids pretty much my whole life, which of course get taken out during the night. Now I actually started sign language at the beginning of life, but I wanted to learn to talk, so I've been wearing hearing aids since then. The hearing aids that I have are the Phonak Nata Q70SP, which I've had since 2013. Now the DM or FM system I'm using is a Phonak Roger Pen which connects to the modular receivers which I usually have attached to my hearing aids while using the system. The main thing you need to know when using the system is that the button on the right side of the pen is the power button. No, these are not the two power buttons on the left side. I'll get into those later. To toggle the system between on and off, press and hold the power button for about a second. The indicator light will fade red when turning off or green when turning on. To mute the system, press the power button and the light will be kind of a purple, red, blue color. When it's off, nothing will happen when muting. To wear the system, grab the black lanyard, gently pull it apart, and you'll see that it's held together by magnets. Put it around your neck and reattach. To take it off, repeat the previous steps and set it down or give it. Now you might want to know where the microphone is to ensure you're using it correctly. The microphone is actually located in this gap right here, so have the gap facing upward when using it. Now when should it be on versus when should it be muted? Great question. That definitely depends on the situation. You should probably have it on when teaching the class or when helping or talking to me individually or when having other students talk to me. Those are pretty much the only times you might want to have it on. You should probably have it off in pretty much any other situation, like if you're talking to students privately or are talking to anyone else really or aren't in the classroom. Now some of the accommodations I usually need with this whole hearing thing is that I might want to be seated a bit further away from a fan, a door, or pencil sharpener if possible. Now I think you should keep in mind that some teachers might pause teaching as sharpening pencils in the middle of class is technically disrupting class anyways. Hybrid 8 on the other hand copies all the data from the RAM to the hard drive and So, anyways, when doing activities that involve other students talking, we should probably be passing around the mic or else we could use omnidirectional mode, which should work okay too, which I'm about to explain. Now this microphone has three different modes, which are each useful in different situations. You can switch the mode by pressing the bottom most button on the right side with the mic icon. Don't worry about the middle button, that's to pair or repair the mic with the hearing aid receiver. Anyways, if you press the mic button once, the LED indicator will blink purple once. If you press it again, it'll blink twice. Again, it'll blink three times. And again, it'll stop blinking. What's going on? Well, that's how you switch between the three different modes. Now by default it's on automatic mode which has a blinking green LED light and automatically switches the mode depending on the orientation of the mic which I'll get into in a little bit. It's okay to leave it on the default automatic mode by the way because it'll switch accordingly. So if you don't know what the modes are it's probably fine to just leave it on automatic and have it switch based on the orientation which I'll get into in a little bit. The first mode is interview mode, which is used if you're talking to someone. You or someone hold the mic towards the other person that's speaking. Practically any close distance towards them should do. The background noise gets reduced, which should make it easier to hear the person talking. I also tell you, Cole, it's very messy and really think it should be cleaned up. I know, I plan on optimizing the code before the first release. Thanks for your opinion. The second mode is conference mode, which is omnidirectional, which can pick up sounds pretty much from all around like if it's in the middle of a big table. This would be a great alternative if you couldn't or don't want to pass around the mic for whatever reason. Alright, can you make sure these components work with our new custom computer? Sure.
Now for some people, this could cause feedback if the mic is really close to the hearing aid, which might not be the case for everyone. The third mode is lanyard mode, which works best if people are wearing the microphone like this, which is the case most of the time, I think. Would it work? Yes, but can we have two Titan XPs running an SLI? Oh yeah, I guess we could. If that sounds like a lot, you can use automatic mode, which automatically switches them based on the orientation of the mic. To use interview mode on automatic mode, hold the mic kind of slanted upward toward the person's mouth and that should automatically work. The LED indicator will still blink green, but it still switches the mode. Just check with me if I can hear it okay if you want to. To use conference or omnidirectional, just lay it flat on the table and enjoy. To use lanyard mode, just put the mic around your neck and you're good. So automatic mode is really easy to use, so why can't you use it all the time? Well, you probably could get away with using it all the time. The only time I manually switch modes is if I want to use omnidirectional if I'm holding it and don't want to set it down. Or if it's on the projector and it's hanging too loud. If it's on the projector and it's too loud, I'll have it on the opposite side of the speaker and then I'll just switch to the mode that's the quietest. Usually I end up using the third mode or lanyard mode. Now some of the other accommodations besides being further away from noise sources, passing around the mic, or alternatively omnidirectional mode are closed captions when watching videos. Now not all videos have closed captions. If it doesn't, that's definitely fine, it's just helpful. This video has them just as an example. I also need extra time on tests usually, not always. I just have to process what I've learned. Oftentimes I have to figure out what I'm doing because I have to really focus on listening and everything I hear is only through the hearing aids and focusing on what I'm listening to don't come naturally to me at all. And because of this, it can take a while to recall what I learned because I was focusing on focusing on listening or else I just end up figuring it out myself, which usually works, but it can take time. The last one I could think of would be working in the arc room sometimes. I only did it like once last year, so I probably won't need it that often, if at all. And those are pretty much the main things. And yes, before I forget, the two buttons on the side are very optional. They're used for Bluetooth. So if I wanted to make a call on my phone using this thing, I would have to first make sure I'm in Bluetooth mode by holding the green button for a couple seconds until the blue LED fades on, then make sure the devices are paired with my phone, call whoever I wanted to call, and as long as Bluetooth is connected, I should be able to talk into my pen and talk to the person through the mic and hear them because the receivers will receive the incoming signal from the phone to the mic to the receiver. And if someone is calling your phone, then press the green button to accept or red to decline. I could literally hide my phone and still be able to use the pen using the two buttons as long as the phone and pen are within Bluetooth range. Hello, this is Thomas Nougat. What do you want? I now own a lot of stuff from the black market and was wondering if you would like to buy anything from me. What do you have? We, I mean I have Twinkies, lighters, firecrackers, unlimited credit card bill payment. Once done, press and hold the red button until the blue LED fades off. This is pretty important because Bluetooth mode stays on even when the mic is off, which explains why my battery dies so early overnight when I thought it would have just enough power. If that sounds like a lot, let's real quickly overview everything you would definitely need to know. Press and hold the topmost power button on the right side for one second to toggle between on and off. Press once to mute the mic. Pull apart the lanyard magnet to put it on. Have the mic oriented this way towards the person's mouth. Put it on mute if class currently isn't being taught or you're not talking to me. Otherwise have it on. Close captions on videos we watch if possible, like this one. Extra time on some tests. Pass around the mic when necessary or the second conference mode as an alternative. And I think those cover the most important things you would need to know. If there's anything else like questions, thoughts, concerns, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, this mic is for the video. Without it, it's a lot harder to understand. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.